praise. Lord, we thank you, Father, for this time of your word. We ask that, Lord, you speak to us today in a new way, in the name of Jesus. Let our hearts, O oh Lord, Father, we receive your word with joy, with gladness, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray that, Lord, even as your word comes forth, O oh Lord, let it come forth with the power to heal, to deliver, to transform here today, in the name of Jesus. Let it bring about life. Lord, your son says the words that he speaks, O oh Lord, your spirit of life. I declare that your word come forth and bring about life to every dead situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, and we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You may be seated. God bless you all. Hallelujah. It's a glorious, glorious time in his presence. And I know God is going to do great things here today. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I just want to give honor to whom honor is due. Praise the name of the Lord. All the pastors in the house, Pastor Marie, Pastor uh, Mantra, Pastor Holly, God bless you. The work you are doing, the Lord will reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord will watch over you. No evil befall you in the mighty name of Jesus. He continues to strengthen you on every side in the name of Jesus. Just want to thank God for all the uh, different departments, choir, usher, hallelujah, admin team, technical team. The Lord bless you with the work you are doing. You know, you are putting work into the house of God. And God will surely, as I say, reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. He won't leave you alone. He will be with you and always guide you in the mighty name of Jesus. To everyone that is here, the Lord bless you. Thank you for coming. Your presence is highly, highly appreciated. Praise the name of the Lord. It's appreciated here. It's appreciated in heaven. You have taken time to come and serve the living God. And God will surely watch over you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Continually bless you on all sides. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. This morning. Uh, I just want to speak about something. That I believe that will help us. In our walk with the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to walk, uh, you know, we're going to talk about something this morning. I know that the Lord is, you know, has, you know, as the Lord has directed his soul, will I speak to praise the name of the Lord. And I know that we shall be blessed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Shall we turn our Bibles to uh, Matthew chapter 18? Matthew chapter 18 from verse 18 to 20. Matthew chapter 18 and from 18 to 20. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We welcome all the angels. In human we come to angels that are with us. Praise the name of the Lord. Spirit of just men, they are all here with us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome also the the Lord Jesus Christ is also present here. Praise the name of the Lord. And we know that the blood of Jesus is with us. Hallelujah. Praise the name Hallelujah. of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are in the midst of God. Praise God. And he says, Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Now, Verse 19, he says, Again, I say to you that if you, if two of you what agree, somebody say agree. agree. If two of you what agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, he says, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. And today, that's why we're going to talk about agreements. Because it's a powerful thing. That's a powerful tool that 
God has given us to us to open our heavens, praise the name of the Lord, to get things done. We are, we are going to be talking about what agreement because it's so powerful. From this scripture, verse 20, let's read verse 20. It says, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, he says what, I am there in what, the midst of them. Praise the name of the Lord. Three things he says will happen when two agree, when two come together, when even two or more come together. Praise the name of the Lord. Powerful things happen because in agreement, we can shake the heavens. We can shake the earth. Praise the name of the Lord. First thing he says, what? Whatever we bind in, on earth, he says it's bound in heaven. When we come together and agree, whatever we lose in on earth, he says it's loose in heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And then second, second, he says, whatever we ask for, whatever ask we ask for concerning any matter, concerning any matter, he says, it shall be done unto us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So agreement is so powerful. Hallelujah. Is it true that the Lord has given to us to what? To open our heavens, to make things happen, to change situations. Praise the name of the Lord. And finally, he's telling us there that the Lord Jesus says, when two or three or more are gathered, he says, there I am in their midst. Praise the name of the Lord. How many of us believe that Jesus is here? Jesus is here. He says, when two or three are gathered, not in our name, but in his name, he says, I am here in the midst of them. We are gathered in the name of the Lord Jesus. And the Lord God is here with us. Praise the name of the Lord. And anywhere that we find the Lord, you know that things are going to bound or happen. Praise the name of the Lord. Great things are about to happen. Healing is about to happen. Deliverance is about to happen. Hallelujah. Change is about to take place. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we should understand that what agreement is so powerful. And I, it takes more than one person to what agree. Praise the name of the Lord. It takes two to agree. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. So it is very powerful. When, it's, when, we, when it comes to agreement, we get things done quicker. We get things done faster. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So we're going to talk about some things about agreement. Number one thing is that God is a God what of agreement. God is what a God of agreement. Praise the name of the Lord. Genesis chapter one. Uh, Genesis chapter one. Let's see verse twenty six and twenty eight. Genesis chapter one twenty six to twenty eight. God loves agreement. Hallelujah. He's a God of what. Agreement. Genesis chapter 20, chapter 1, verse 20. Then God said, Let us, let us what make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, all that. But what I'm pointing out there is let us. Let us praise the name of the Lord. God is a God of agreement. I say, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. They are all what in agreement. And that's why power just flows out of what heaven. Because the three are what in agreement. Let us make man in our image. Praise the name of the Lord. When it comes to let us, that means it means that what we put down what all our personal what agendas. It has nothing to do with any personal agenda now. Everything has to do with what? One mind, one focus. It doesn't have to do with anyone's personal agenda. You lay down your personal agenda. God says what? Let us make man. Let us agree and make man. And there was total agreement there. Praise the name of the Lord. God the Father was there. God, the, I mean, Jesus the Son was there. The Holy Spirit was there. In the creation of man. Praise the name of the Lord. God the Father was there. Jesus was the word that he spoke. Let us make man. In our image. Praise the name of the Lord. 
And as soon as he spoke that word, the Holy Spirit, you see that after he created man, the, the Bible says he breathed into man. The Holy Spirit praised the name of the Lord. So the three of them were all in agreement for the creation of man. Praise the name of the Lord. It had nothing to do. When God said, when he says, let us come together to make man. Everyone that was created was created in agreement. In agreement. You were created in agreement. This is how what Brother Noel is supposed to look. And they all agree. And they made Brother Noel. This is how Pastor Marie is supposed to look. And they all agree. And made what? And that is why we are all unique. Because we came out of what? Agreement. Powerful agreement. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us. Let us. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us. When it comes to agreement, as I said, it's about what? Laying down what? Our personal agendas. Praise the name of the Lord. Look at Nehemiah. When it came to what? Building the wall. Nehemiah was talking about Building the wall. When they came back to Jerusalem and all the wall was broken down. Praise the name of the Lord. Jeremiah, Nehemiah said what to the people? He says, let us come together and what? Build the wall. Let us come together. Not I will come and build. He says, let us come together. And the great thing about what he did, I will show you. He said what? He says, when he was about to what? Build the wall. He says, each section of the wall, he gave to every family. To every family. He gave a section of the wall. A section of the wall. Build this wall. Back. He says, build it back. And what did they do? He let us build the wall. He says, what? Each and every family built the wall. So that when all the walls came together, they were uniform. Praise the name of the Lord. They were all uniform. So each family was not building to their own agenda. They were building what? In uniformity with what? In agreement with others. And what did it produce? It produced what? A wall that was what? Uniform. Praise the name of the Lord. Not any family saying, ah, I'm going to build my own wall. This is going to be it. It's going to be better than this. No. When it comes to agreement, it is in terms of being unified, doing everything what in unity. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's look at Amos chapter 3 and verse 3. Amos chapter 3 and verse 3. Amos chapter 3 and verse 3. It says, can two what? Walk together. Unless what? They agree. Can two walk together? Unless what? They agree. Praise God. Because where there's no agreement, you can never walk in the same direction. One will always be saying, I want to go this way. I want to go that way. And then there will be what? There will be a diversion. And that's what called the word division. Praise the name of the Lord. Can two walk together unless they agree? This walk with God is an agreement with God. This walk with brethren is an agreement with brethren. That we walk together in the same direction, in the same line. Agree to the same principles. Praise the name of the Lord. Can two walk together except they agree. Praise the name of the Lord. Disagreement is a power blocker. Disagreement was is a power blocker. It blocks the power of God. Praise the name of the Lord. From what? From 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 uh, uh, from uh, uh, emanating. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a power blocker. When there is disagreement, when there is division, it's a power blocker. It doesn't allow for what the power of God. It doesn't allow for the power of God to work. Praise the name of the Lord. You can see when it came to 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 heaven. You know, what, one, one thing about heaven is that everything operates as one. The Lord our God, Deuteronomy chapter, let's look at Deuteronomy chapter, uh, just one moment. Praise the name of the Lord. Where did I put that? Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Let us go, let us go, praise God. Anyway, let's go on. He says what, uh, I said this, this agreement is what a power blocker. It hinders the power of God. Let's look at uh, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy, uh, oh, sorry, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. We'll come there. It says, now I plead with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak what? The same thing. And that there be no what? Divisions among you, but that you be what? Perfectly what? Joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Praise the name of the Lord. Paul was what? He was, he was talking to the Corinthians and says, I plead with you. That's why you may be joined together in the same mind and the same judgment. Why? Because he wants the power of God what, to, what, to work. He wants to see the power of God move in their lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Because division what, is a power blocker. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Go on uh, and uh, just go on. Carry on. He said, for it has been declared to me concerning you, my brethren, by those of Chloe's household, that there are contentions amongst you. Praise the name of the Lord. Anywhere you see contention, anywhere you see contention, you see strife. Praise the name of the Lord. Anywhere you see contention, you see strife, you see division, you see uh, uh, things not going well. You don't see the power of God. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible says, drive out the one that is full of contention and you see strife disappears. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We've gone through that already and we thank God that God has seen us through. Praise the name of the Lord. We are all here in agreement. Praise the name of the Lord. But I just want to encourage you today with of the power that God is in agreement. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. One thing to you must note is that it is agreement that what brought about what Pentecost. It is agreement that brought down the Holy Spirit of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Acts chapter 1 verse 12. Let's quickly read that 12 to 14. Acts chapter 1 verse 12 to, four, uh, to 14. It is, the, it is the power of agreement that what brought down the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet. He says, what well, which is near Jerusalem is Sabbath day's journey. And when they had entered, they went up into the upper room where they were staying. He says, Peter, James, John, Andrew, Philip, and Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, James of uh, Asphios, and uh, Simon of Zealot, and Judas, the son of James. Go on. These all continued what? With one accord. If they were divided, they, I tell you, there was no day of Pentecost. Praise the name of the... They were all what? With one accord. All agreed to be in the upper room to wait for what the Lord Jesus Christ has already commanded. Praise the name of the Lord. In prayer and in supplication with the women, Mary, with the woman and Mary, the mother of Jesus. And with his word, with his brothers. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's go to uh, 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 Acts chapter 2, verse 1. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. Praise the name of the Lord. Remember, they were all waiting what? In one accord. They were all agreed to be there. In prayer. Joined up in prayer. And he says, when the day of Pentecost had come fully, they were all with what? One accord in one place. So the Pentecost was is linked to what being in agreement. You want to see the move of the Holy Spirit? You have, we have to all be what in agreement. Praise the name of the Lord. When we are in agreement, when we are in one accord, we see the power of the Holy Spirit move in a different dimension. Praise the name of the Lord. Says the Holy Spirit came like tongues of fire. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to see that happen here. I want to see that happen in our midst. 
Praise the name of the Lord. I want to see the power of the Holy Spirit move. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And when it comes to agreement, you know, as I said, it's so powerful. And God has shown us so many things. You know, when it comes to the things, the things that happen in the natural, it shows us what happens in the spiritual. Praise the name of the Lord. And God shows us everything that he, 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 you know, that concerns his word. Praise the name of the Lord. Look at when it comes to nature. You know, nature shows us something powerful about agreement. Nature, it shows us something powerful about agreement. Now, have we heard of flocks of birds before? Flocks of birds. What do the birds do when they flock together? The, the thing is that they send the strongest ahead. They send the strongest ahead so that they can break the wind. And then all other ones are just gliding behind. Praise the name of the Lord. They all go in agreement. Praise the name of the Lord. They all are agreed. Hallelujah. They go all in agreement. And they are able to what? achieve distances that they as one could never achieve. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The same thing with what? If you look at a school of fish, a school of fish, that's a lot of fish. If you look at nature programs, you will see a school of fish. Why do they come as school? They come as a school of fish to protect themselves. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because as a school of fish, they look like a bottle of a big, mighty fish. And other fish just divert because they see them. Praise the name of the Lord. The power of what agreement? They come in agreement together. Let's stay together so that we protect ourselves. The penguins, the, I love the penguins. When I see that program, when it's so cold, when the penguins, you know, they are in the snow, they are always found where there's snow. And when it's so cold, they all come together. They all come, and then those that are in the, you know, they make a big circle, a big circle, and they all agree. That the first one that are in the middle, when it gets very hot in the middle, they move out, the next row goes in. They just keep themselves warmed up like that by moving in and out. In and out. They all agree. Praise the name of the Lord. Nature shows us the power of agreement. We can achieve so many things without with the power of agreement. Praise the name of the Lord. In the institution of marriage, we talk about marriage. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I was talking about the, the Lord God says, the Lord God is one God. One God. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know when what happened was that Satan wanted to bring about a, 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 a division what in heaven. He wanted to speak what was one. What was one. He wanted to speak into two. And God said, that can't happen. He was cast out of heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because agreement has to do with what? Oneness. Jesus says to him, he says, Jesus says, he says, I and my father are what? One. One. one means what we agree. Hallelujah. We have the same ideology. We have the same principles. We, are, we agree on everything. Praise the name of the Lord. The institution of marriage also shows us what? The power of agreement. Institution of marriage. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 24. Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. Remember, it says, The Lord God is one. He's one, but He has the He's, he's still represented by the Holy Spirit, His Son, and the Father. But they are one. Praise the name of the Lord. And the same thing is repeated here in marriage. Therefore, a man shall give his father and mother. And be joined to his wife, and they shall become what? One flesh. Agreement, they become one. One in everything. Their thoughts are the same, their ways are the same. They are in everything. You become one in everything. You agree. When you have agreement, there's oneness. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why the Bible says what? He that findeth the wife findeth the good thing and begins to what? Obtain favor. The favor doesn't come until you find the wife 
and then you begin to what? obtain that favor. There's a special favor that comes when you find your wife. Because you have found something to agree with. You have found something that two of you want to become what? One as God. And where there's oneness, there's power. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Agreement has to do with what? One voice. One voice. One voice. Bible tells us when, when you who are praising with one voice in the temple that Solomon built, it says as they praised with one voice, as they sang with, with one voice, as they played the instruments in harmony. In harmony. He said the place was what? Filled with the glory of God. The place was what? Filled with the glory of God. Now, we don't you want to see the glory of God. We want to see the glory of God. And it comes with the power of agreement. When we agree, when we stand as one, when we stand in unity, praise the name of the Lord. And that reminds me, as I came in today, Pastor Marie was mentioning about unity. I said, well, she's in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Because unity, it, it, happens. it has that power to what change things. Praise the name of the Lord. It's about oneness. It's about one voice. One voice. When we are in one voice, when we, just like when we are singing praises today, we are singing with one voice in harmony. And the place was filled. I, I felt the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 133, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 133, 1 to 3. God commands what? His blessing when there is what? Agreement. That is another thing that happens. When it comes to what? Agreement. God commands his blessings. You want to see God commanding his blessing? What? Let's walk in it. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's walk in agreement. Something says, Behold, how good and pleasant it is, brethren, to dwell together, what? In unity. He says, It's like the precious oil upon the head running down the, to the, on the, running down on the beard, uh, 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 the beard of Aaron, running down, running down on the edge of his garments. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise. It is like the dew of Haman. Descending upon the mountains of what Zion, there's no break in flow where there's unity. There's no break in flow where there's agreement because there's no disagreement. Praise the name of the Lord. Disagreement brings about break in flow. There's no break in flow. That's why it was to uh, compare what the oil that was flowing down right from his head to what his feet. He says, for there the Lord command what commanded what the blessings, hallelujah, life forevermore. When there is an agreement, we find that we are blessed because God just commands his blessings. God just commands his blessings. Just God commands his blessings. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Agreement is about being like-minded. We have the same mind, the same focus. We are focused on the same thing. Praise the name of the Lord. Focus on the same vision. Hallelujah. Being like-minded. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Philippians chapter 2, 1 to 4. Philippians chapter 2, uh, 1 to 4. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4. What are we saying? What does it say? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It says, therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy. By being what? Like-minded. By being what? Like-minded. What is he saying? By being in what? Agreement. Praise the name of the Lord. Having the same law. 
having the same love, praise the name of the Lord, being of one accord, of one mind, praise the name of the Lord. I know I was talking about God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, praise the name of the Lord. And all that was in agreement. But remember, you know, the Bible talks about what? For Christ being what? Made like flesh. That he humbled himself and was obedient. And God the Father highly what? Exalted him. And gave him what? A name that is above every name. And yet they're still in agreement. Jesus has a name above every name. He has a name above what? The, their Father. A name above what? The Holy Spirit. And yet they're able to still agree. Praise the name of the Lord. So your position doesn't matter. Jesus says that at every dimension of his name, that every name will bow, every tongue. He didn't say that concerning what the Holy Spirit. And yet they are together and they agree. Being like-minded. Praise the name of the Lord. Doesn't matter the position. We be like-minded. Praise the name of the Lord. The position of Jesus doesn't affect what the unity. It doesn't affect the agreement that is between the three. And that is why power flows from, from what heaven. Jesus, highly exalted above every other God. Highly exalted. Yet they sit down and they agree. Jesus puts his own personal agenda aside. God the Father put his own personal agenda the Holy Spirit put his own personal agenda and yet they come together. They agree because they are like minded. Holy Spirit is not complaining and saying, uh, God the Father, you didn't. Uh, why did you exalt Jesus now? Why did you give him a name that is above every name? Why is he greater than me? Why is he what? He did, he's not complaining. He's not complaining. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He wants us to be like-minded. When we agree, we are like-minded. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And who do we agree with? When it comes to agreement, two things. We agree with God. Number one, we agree with what God. Number one person to agree with is God. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's look at First John chapter 5, 14 and 15. First John chapter 5, 14 and 15. First John chapter 5, 14 and 15. The first person you agree with is God. When it comes to it, now this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he has a will for you. If you agree with his will, something happens. He says what? He hears us. And 15, he says, and if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, he says, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God has a will for you. And if you agree with him on that will, he says it's going to happen. It will be, and his will for you is, is already outlined in his word. So if you pray according to his word, it happens. Because we are in agreement with what God is saying concerning you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So the first person you agree with is God. And you see that things begin to happen for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Secondly, we agree with what one another. Remember that uh, 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 scripture we read, Matthew chapter 18? If two shall I agree. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. On earth that we find ourselves, we need to agree with one another. Have somebody that you agree with. Have somebody that you agree with. And when you pray together, have somebody that you pray together with. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And you see things happen. Romans chapter 15, 30 to 31. Romans chapter 15, 30 to 31. Romans chapter 15. Now I beg you, brethren, through the Lord Jesus Christ and through the love of the Spirit that you strive together, you be together with me in prayers to what? To God. For me. Paul 
He's saying so. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to join together. Be together as one. And pray for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Second, as I say, we join together in agreement for with others, with one another. Praise 30, 30, 31. Let's look at 31. That I may be delivered from those in Judea who do not believe, and that my service for Jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints. So he's going somewhere. He needs prayer. He calls his brethren, pray for me. It's a prayer of agreement. And it's so powerful. Praise the name of the Lord. As long as there's that agreement, as long as there's that unity, there's power in it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's see something quickly. How do we what now activate? How do we activate the power of agreement? How do we activate it? Genesis chapter 11. Genesis chapter 11. Oh, hallelujah. Genesis chapter 11. Praise God. From verse 1. We're going from 1 to 9. From 1 to, Now the whole earth had one language and what? One speech. That's number one. We speak the same language. Activating what the power of agreement is speaking what the same language. When we all speak the same language, when we all come in agreement in the same language, we speak this. We all come agree on the same thing. He says, verse 2. Verse 2. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shina and they dwelt there. Go on. Then they said to one another, come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly that they had brick for stone and they had asphalt for mortar. Verse, and they said, come, let us, again, let us, everybody put your what agendas aside. There's a mission that we have. Praise the name of the Lord. There's a mission that we have. Praise the name of the Lord. Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Number two thing what if you, you if it is to see there's what you call the power what's in the plan. There's a plan here that has come. Come, let us let us build. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come, let us build. There's a plan to do something. And when you see into that plan, it, it gives that plan what it, it, it makes that plan come to pass. Praise the name of the Lord. I put it as, see the power of the plan. When you see the power of the plan, what is it you want to pray for? You want to pray for him? You see already that person is, is already healed because the word says so. Praise the name of the Lord. That by his life, you are already here. You see the power in the plan. He says, and that, and that, so verse 5, go on, verse 5. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, indeed, people are one. And they all have what? One language. As I said, number one thing was speaking the same language. Number two is what see the power of that plan. When they saw it, they started to build. And God had to come down and say, and this is what they begin to do. Now, nothing that they propose to do will be withheld. Because they saw the power in the plan. Nothing that they proposed to do will be withheld from them. That's why it says, we ask according to the will of the Father, it shall be done unto us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Another thing there is to have the passion to do it. He says, come let us. If there's no passion there, there will, nothing will happen. But everybody was ready. There was a passion for the job. In oneness, there was that oneness of, of passion. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, nothing will be withheld from them. And verse 7. He says, come, let us go down. And they confused their language that they did not understand one another's speech. That's what the devil till today is doing. Praise the name of the Lord. He comes to what confused and they disturb our what? Our unity. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. He's out to what? This, to, to just distort unity. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He wants to what? Make the power of God what? Uh, you know, uh, to render it useless. Praise the name of the Lord. But he can't. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 8. He says, so the Lord scattered them abroad for they are uh, over the face of the earth, yet, and they seed building the city. Verse 9, and uh, therefore his name was called Babylon because the Lord confused the language of all the earth and of all the Lord scattered. And from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of the earth. But you know one thing, agreement works whether it is in the spiritual or whether it's in the natural, or whether even the wicked, or if it, it works. Even if it is out of the will of God, agreement works. What happened? They were building a tower that was out of what the will of God, but it worked, isn't it? Because everything that they set their mind to do, they did. They were building. And God came down and said it by himself that if we do not stop them, they will achieve what they are doing. But they were not in the will of God. But it was happening for them. Mm -hmm. That's why agreement is so, so powerful. And that's what the devil he has. That's why you see agreement when he, com when he, when he comes to unbelievers, they, they have that kind of click of agreement. And it's so powerful. And things happen for them. That's why witches, things work for them because they come together. In that, and they are you know they are also in agreement, isn't it? And things are working out for them. It's just that the power that they have is less than the power that that, that, that we have. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why the the, 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 the God that is in us, the greater is the He that what is in us than He that is in the world, because He that is in the world also has they operate with the power of agreement. Also, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. They get things done with what the power of agreement. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why we have to be very careful. Praise God. Because Satan too is operating on the world. The power of agreement. It's just that power is different. The power that comes out of what? That's, uh, the power of, I mean, the agreement of Satan is less than the power that comes out of what? The power of agreement with God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's just quickly, just finally, just look at the things that happen when we stay together, when we are in, in agreement. Number one thing is strength. 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 When we, when we are in agreement, there's strength. Praise the name of the Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 12. Quickly. Hallelujah. Though one may be overpowered by another, two cannot withstand him. He says, and a threefold cord is not what is quickly broken. So there's strength. When we come in agreement, there's strength. Praise the name of the Lord. Encouragement is number two. Ecclesiastes chapter four and verse 10. There's encouragement when we come together, when we stand in agreement. When we are in agreement, he says what Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 10, For if they fall, one will lift up his what? Companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls. For he has no one to what? To help him. For he has no one to help him. But there's what? Encouragement for when we, ask, when we stand in agreement. Because when something happens, there's somebody to lift you up. Hallelujah. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Success is the, is the third thing that happens when there's power of agreement. Success. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 9. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 9. He says, two are what? Better than one. Because they have what? A good reward for what? Their labor. What's a good reward? It's success. Success in that. Because you, you, you succeed. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You succeed in what you are doing. You succeed in what you are doing. When, you, when there's agreement. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why it says when you ask according to his will. Or whatever you ask. In my name. It shall be done unto you. You succeed. Hallelujah. Yeah. Staying together in agreement. As I say, it's a defense. As I was talking about the school of fish. The school of fish, they stay together. So that what is it acts as a defense for them. Praise the name of the Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 12. Hallelujah. Don't one may be overpowered by another. Do. Can we stand it? And a threefold call is not what? Quickly broken. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a defense source. Twofold call cannot be equally there. It says, Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And then faith. It brings about faith. It increases our faith. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember the Bible says what? It says one shall chase what a thousand and two shall what it defies mathematics. One shall chase what and two shall do what. How can it be? It should be two thousand, isn't it? But it's ten thousand. We do it multiplies faith multiplies. Not add, it doesn't add faith. It multiplies faith. One shall chase a thousand, two shall put ten thousand to flight. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we rise this morning? Shall we rise this morning? For this afternoon, praise the name of the Lord. There's a power of agreement here too. Praise the name of the Lord. The power of agreement here today. Is there anything that you want to agree upon? We are here to pray. Praise the name of the Lord. We are here to pray. We are going to agree today. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And my mind just says, we've split ourselves into two. Two, 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 two. Two, two. two. Let's agree. We agree. It says, if two, if two children don't go to use, I mean, don't go to young ones. You go to someone that is, you know, praise God. Hallelujah. Do I agree? What do you want? He says, if we ask anything according to his will, he says, his father will do it. That's what the Jesus says. He says, God will do it for us. God the Father will do it for us. So I want you to just begin to agree. Agree today. On any matter, on any issue. If it has to be three, it has to be three. When you did that, you know, uh, some, uh, mm, yeah. okay. Amen. Who are left now? Okay. Uh, let's see how I can do it. Huh? Where is Zainte? Zainte is at the can. Okay. All right. Okay. We pray. Just talk to yourselves. What is it you want to agree upon? God wants to answer today. Praise the name of the Lord. God wants to bring about success concerning that thing. God wants to answer that prayer today. Praise the name of the Lord. That need, whatever it is, let it be known. Let it be known. Let it be known. That need, whatever it is, let it be known. There's someone to agree with you here. We stand in agreement today. We stand in that power of agreement. God the Son, God the Father. God the Holy Spirit. They're standing together. They stand together. And power flows. 
We want to tap into that power today. We want to tap into that power. The power of agreement. The power of agreement. Lord God Almighty, we stand here today. We stand today in agreement. We stand today in agreement. You say, Lord, when we ask according to your will, that Lord, it shall be done. Whatever we ask for, Lord, shall be done unto us. Lord, we believe that word today. And we stand on that word. We ask, O Lord Father, that Lord God Almighty, meet, O Lord Father, the needs, O Lord, of each and every one here, even as they stand in agreement in the name of Jesus. Answer, we say answer, because as they call upon you, we know that you, we are hearing us. We say, Lord God Almighty, Lord, let there be an answer today. Lord, to that situation, let that situation change. Let the Lord there be provision. Let the Lord Father, let there be healing in the name of Jesus. We decree, O oh Lord Father, let there be success in Lord, whatever we need our hands to do in the name of Jesus. Let there be divine protection. We tap into that power of agreement today. That brings about success, that brings about strength, that brings about defense. We tap into that. We come in one language. We come in one language. We come in one language. Lord, we await the testimonies from today. We await the testimonies, the great and mighty testimonies that will come from. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, we want to thank you. We thank you for, Lord, your word today. Lord, we thank you for, Lord, reminding us of the power of agreement. Lord, we stand here in agreement, in unity, like-minded, one-minded. We stand before you. We call upon you with one mind. And you say when we do that, that you will answer. Lord, we are with, Lord, great, mighty testimonies that will come forth from the day. We will see the power of agreement work for us in the name of Jesus. As we stand in agreement, Lord God Almighty, with one another, as a body, as we stand in agreement, let your blessings flow. I pray that you command your blessings, command your blessings, your blessings of healing, your blessings of deliverance, your blessings of provision, your blessings of protection. I said, be let it be commanded today for us. In the name of Jesus, your blessings of success that will be commanded, O Lord, for us. Oh, we just give you praise. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. We are the army of God.